Okay, welcome to all. Myself, Dr. Dithiranjan Patnai. Um, I am working as assistant professor in GL Bajaj Institute of Technology and Management, Greater Noida. Today's topic is your linear block code. So, what is uh, what is uh, before that we will see what is block coder? Okay, this is nothing but the it is operating as uh, it is doing the encoding operation with input of k information bits and the uh, output is n encoded bits. So, the code word n digits, this is a code word n digits made up of information bit k digits and redundance a or redundant parity check digits n minus k digits. We have already uh, discussed in the previous lecture. So, your total code word will be the sum, sum of information bits and the redundant parity check digits. The rate of efficiency for this code is your k by n that is nothing but the code efficiency r equal to k by n that is nothing but the number of information bits ok number of information bits divided by total number of bits in the code word because in the code word we have both information plus redundancy, redundancy or parity check bits, but we will see that k divided by n is this is nothing but your code efficiency. So, uh, here we can see that redundancy is deliberately added to achieve error detection. So, question is why we are adding redundancy bits, because we have to achieve your error free code or uh, to detect the error. So, systematic block codes, what is systematic block code? Block code is block codes in which the message bits are transmitted in unaltered form are called systematic codes. Okay. A systematic block code consists of vectors whose first k elements are or last k elements are identical to the message bits. Okay. First, let us say this is, a, this is a, for first uh, k number of bits, you have message bits. The remaining n minus k bits uh, element being parity check bits, these are parity check bits or uh, for, uh, last bits are uh, k bits are your message bits and first n minus k bits are your uh, parity bits. Okay. A code vector can be in the form of these two. Okay. The information digits are explicitly transmitted together with the parity check bits. Okay. For the code to be systematic, the k information bits must be transmitted as a block or block okay, with the parity check bits making up the code word as another block. Okay. So, this is your information bits, this is your parity bits and total is your code word. Okay. Systematic code words are sometimes written so that the message bits occupy the left hand portion of the code word and the parity bits occupy, uh, occupy the right hand portion. This is uh, nothing but your systematic code words. So, a systematic linear block code will have a generator matrix of the form. It is uh, this uh, we will deal how to deal with this systematic block code. This is a systematic uh, linear block code will have a generator matrix. This is your generator matrix which we can write this is this with parity and this information bits. So, parity check matrix what is P? This enables us to decode the received vectors. Why we need parity check matrix? Because we have to decode the received vectors. For each k cross n generator matrix, okay, this is k cross n matrix, there exists an n minus k cross n matrix H okay, such that rows of the G <coughs> are orthogonal to rows of H that is G, uh, G times H transpose equal to G, where H t, H t is the transpose of S. It should be orthogonal to each other. To fulfill the orthogonal requirements for a systematic code, the components of H matrix are written as your H equal to I n minus k. Yep. This is one is your parity uh, transpose of parity matrix. Okay. So, how to represent this 
block code in the matrix form and n k block code consists of n bit vectors. Okay. Each vector corresponding to a unique block of k message bits. Okay. Each vector okay, corresponding to a unique block of k message bits. So, there are 2 to the k different k bits messages blocks and 2 to the n possible n bit vectors. Okay. Because total number of bits is your k bits. The fundamental strategy of block coding is to choose the 2 to the power k codes vectors such that the minimum distance is as large as possible. We will see in the next uh, slides. The distance of two words of same length plays an important role in the error correction. Why we will see how it this uh, uh, distance between two code words uh, may, uh, plays a imp an important role in the error correction. So, this is your generator matrix with message vector m and the code word code vector would be x equal to m times g. So, why this is known as linear? Because it, uh, it uh, follows the linear property how in a linear block code the exclusive or that is XOR of any two valid code words creates another valid code words. This is your linearity property. <coughs> so, we can see that if we will do the exclusive or operation of any two valid code words, then we will uh, we can find out the <coughs> another valid code words. Okay. See uh, what is happening. So, the scheme is a linear block code because the result of exploring any code word with any other code words is a valid code word. So, we can say if I will XOR these two codes, XOR operation what will happen? If same, if I am doing XOR operation on same bits, then it would be 0 and diff for different it would be 1. So, this, this is the bit by bit we will XOR, 0, 0 would be 0, 0, 1 would be 1 and this 0, 1 would be 1. Again, we can say this 0, 1, 1 is already available. Similarly, if I will do this second one and fourth one. What will happen? 0 1, this is 1, 1 1, 0, then 1 0, 1. Again, see, we, will, we can get third code words. Here also, we can get say in the same manner. For example, the exploring of the third and fourth, same third and fourth, we will get the second one. Now, we will see what is mathematical expression of a linear block code. A block code generator generates the parity vectors or parity bits which are added to message bits to generate the code words. Thus, code vector x can also be represented as x equal to m g, okay? uh, where m equal to k number of message vectors and x would be equal to code word code vector of size 1 cross n, m is nothing but the message vector of size 1 cross k. Now, g is nothing but your generator matrix of size k cross n. In matrix form, x can be represented as x equal to m times g. So, uh, the matrix uh, dimension is 1 cross n for x, 1 cross k is for m and k cross n is for generator matrix. The generator matrix is dependent on, on the i and parity. Okay. That is where i k is nothing but your identity matrix and p is nothing but your coefficient matrix. Okay. So, for example, there is one 5, 3 code where n equal to 5 and k equal to your 3 and n minus k is equal to 2. Now, i k is your identity matrix. So, identity matrix uh, this is your identity matrix. Okay. So, identity matrix is of 3 cross 3. Okay. This is your diagonally, it is only 1. Okay. Similarly, parity p equal to p 0 0 1 0 2 0 0 1 1 1 and 
to 1 pick here now parity vector c equal to parity vector c equal to m p. So, parity vector c equal to m means m naught m 1 m 2 we have basis weights m naught k equal to 3 ok that is m naught m naught m 1 m 2 and parity vector this is given p 0 0 p 1 0 p 2 0 p 0 1 1 1 and 2 1 ok. You see this is the uh, parity matrix this is your k cross n minus k this is nothing but the k means your 3 cross n minus k is your 2 see this is now solve for c naught c 1 c 2 and c n minus k. So, how can we get c naught c this is a c whole uh, whole we can say that this is c but how can how we will get c naught c naught is nothing but your m naught m naught times p 0 0 ex exclusive uh, exclusive or m 1 times p 1 0 exclusive or m 2 times p 2 0. This is c 0 similarly c 1 is a m naught times p naught 1 m 1 times p 1 1 m 2 times p 2 1 ok this is the code c 1 ok this is the basic example. Now, next example is the, uh, what it is given the generator matrix for a 6 3 that is your n k block code is given below find all the code vectors of this code we have given generator matrix g. So, we can find out the what is the n what is k what is n minus k parity bit first one step one is your separate the identity matrix ok separate the identity matrix how we have to first separate this identity matrix and coefficient matrix uh, generator matrix is given by your g equal to i k into p. So, here identity matrix is your we know that g, g how we are writing g i k into p this is i k this is your p ok this is your i k this is your parity matrix p. So, A is the size of message block k equal to 3, there are 8 possible messages, ok. k equal to 3 means there are 2 to the 3 possible messages, these are 2 to the 3, 8 possible message sequences. Next, uh, in the first step we have identified the identity matrix and parity uh, coefficient matrix, ok. Next step is obtain parity vector c equal to mp. M c is nothing but the c vector is nothing but the c naught c 1 c 2 m is nothing but the m naught m 1 and m 2 y 3 because k equal to 3 and p is nothing but we find out find out this is the p ok this is the p. Now, how can we get c naught again same formula m naught into 0 x r m 1 into 1 x r m 2 into 1 uh, we will get 0 this is m 1 this is m 2 and we will get m 1 x or m 2 ok. Similarly, how we will get c 1? c 1 would be what will happen? m 0 1 that is m naught m 1 0 0 m 2. So, only m 0 m 2 will exist. Similarly, for c 2 it would be uh, this would be 0. So, first 2 that is m naught and m 1 ok. Next, for message word, this is we got C naught, C 1 and C 2. Now, we have message words that is M naught, M 1, M 2. If message words are 0, 0, 0, what will be the your C naught, C 1 and C 2? C naught is nothing but your M 1, X or M 2. M 1 x or M 2 this is your M 0 M 2 this is your M 0 M 1 ok M 0 M 2 M 0 M 1 this is your if M 1 M 2 are 0 0 0 0 means all 0 0 exclusive or means triple 0. So, complete code word code word would be your M dot M 1 M 2 ok this is your message bits this is your parity bits 0 0 0 total would be your complete code word 
okay similarly parity bits for message words 001 for 001 we can find out what will happen only this this should be changing that uh, we got already already c not c1 and c2 and after that we will get again 1 110 and for 001 we got 110 this is 110 this is the complete code word ok. <laughs> Similarly, for parity bit for message word 010 so for 010 using same formula we will get 101 for 010 we will get 101 and uh, combine this and we will get complete code word for message block 010. Similarly, for 011 we will get again 011 and add this m0, m1, m2 with c0, c1, c2 we will get complete code word as 011, 011. Similarly, for 100 we get 011, ok. So, one double, for 100 we get 011. Similarly, for 101 we get 1 again 101 so this is the complete code word ok similarly for m dot m1 m2 equal to 110 we get again 110 so this is m dot m1 m2 this is c0 c0 c1 c2 this is 11 dot 11 dot similarly for triple 1 we get triple 0 so this is the complete code word that is triple 1 with triple zero ok this is the complete code word for parity bit this is for message bit triple one ok next this is the code vector for six three linear block codes this is the message uh, vector and k k this is message vector with length this is parity bits ok n minus k equal to 3 this is code vector this is your ok 0 0 0 0 0 added 0 0 1 1 0 ok 0 1 0 1 0 1 these are the final code vectors ok this is the final code vectors So, if I will check whether it is these are linear, linearity or not. So, for check linearity of the above 6 3 codes, add code words at serial number 2 and 3. Serial number 2 and serial number 3. We have code words 00 triple 1 0. 00 triple 1 0. Similarly, for 3, 0 1 0 1 0 1. 0 1 0 1 0 1. Then we will uh, exert these two code words that is module 2 addition. We'll, we can say 0 0 it is 0 0 1 for uh, different bits it would be 1 for same bits it would be 0 ok. So, again 1 1 this code word. Uh, so, we will check because why we are saying that this is linear because after exerting two code words we will get another uh, whatever the resultant code words it should be there in the list ok. So, we get this the output and see 0 1 1 0 1 1 where is there 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 see this are this is code word for 4 ok. Similarly, uh, for 7 and 8 we will get the code word serial number 2 ok. Similarly, uh, for code word 5 and 8 we will get after exerting the 5 and 8 we will get the code word 4. Similarly, code word for uh, 1 and 5 we will get the code word for serial number 5. Similarly, we can verify addition of any two code word vectors which gives another code vectors uh, in the code. Therefore, as we are getting new new code words ok whatever the code words we are getting these uh, code words are uh, belonging to 
the uh, already whatever the codes are there the, the these code words are belonging to that set that's why this is known as your linear code next uh, some terms we should know that is humming distance what is uh, humming weight humming distance humming weight is nothing but the number of ones in a non zero codes for example if this is the non zero codes it is uh, it is number of ones is 3 that's why the uh, humming weight is 3 similarly what is humming distance the humming distance between two words is the number of differences between corresponding bits okay so let uh, let us find the humming distance between two pairs of words that is your 000 and 011 which is nothing but the, the humming distance is 1 because you can see for first bit it is not not changing for second and third bits it is changing that's why the distance is two changes are there that's why the distance is your humming distance is your 2 okay similarly okay the humming distance for these two code words is your 3 because see one is changing to one there is no change zero is changing uh, to one one is remain constant zero is changing to one one is changing to zero so three times changing that's why it uh, the humming distance is 3 so how to find the minimum humming distance uh, for this question so what is the question find the minimum humming distance of the coding scheme in the given below here we have data words and here we have code words okay so to find the uh, humming distance we can see that from 000 to 011 we can see that there are two uh, bits are changing that's why the humming distance between code word 000 and 011 is your 2 similarly for 000 and 101 it is also same two uh, bits are changing for uh, we can see that for any two code words there are two bit positions are changing that's why the minimum humming distance is your 2 similarly we can see that uh, these are the code words again if i am finding out the coming distance between two this two we can see it is coming 3 and for this it is also coming 3 for for this it is coming 4 and this is also 4 3 and 3 so minimum distance is d minimum is nothing but your 3 so these are the uh, some glimpse about the linear block codes okay Uh, so we see uh, how to represent this in matrix form then what is the linearity property of this linear block code then uh, how to represent this mathematically then we we seen we have seen the examples to generate the code words then these are the Uh, we have also checked whether these uh, generated codes are linear or not so at lastly we have also seen the humming distance humming weight of any code word okay so these are uh, we can uh, follow you can follow these two books for these topics so thank you very much